What's up, everyone? My name is Andy. I am uh, born and raised in Denver, Colorado. It's where I currently am right now. I uh, went to CSU from 2014 to 2018 and got my undergrad in uh, business administration with a minor in sociology. Uh, a little more about me. I love watching and participating in sport, and I always have since I was a kid. I also love skiing. I love music, traveling, um, and just enjoying the Colorado lifestyle. And so sports globalization, it's pretty interesting to me because we've gotten to this point where it's not just the Olympics anymore that has you know, gathered the whole world together in sport. It's every sport due to the fact that someone from the U.S. could watch Premier League soccer from Europe or someone from Asia could watch an NFL game. So I think it's really interesting how interconnected the world is now. Um, in the world of sport. And so this course interests me a lot um, due to that fact. Um, I want to learn more about the um, communication networks in regard to international sport as well as the governance and the difference in governance between governments and countries. And so I'm looking forward to learning more about that. So my background in sport, um, besides just being a, a fan, the last couple of years I've interned with um, a scouting agency that was that's run by a former NFL general manager and so what I've been doing is um, helping create um, reports of college football players who are entering the NFL draft and kind of organizing their profile on just a single piece of paper and um, giving it back to the scouts so they can send it to the teams before the draft comes so that's been my experience um, in the sports industry so far uh, my career goals, um, short term, I would re really love to work in the NFL or the NHL, um, hopefully for the Broncos or the Avalanche, in more of an operational standpoint and kind of understand how professional leagues and organizations operate from a business level. Um, like 10, 15 years down the road, I don't know. Um, I try to limit my scope to be as in, in the present moment as possible. I just hope that I'm still in the sports industry at that time, but, you know, who knows? So I'm just kind of focusing on the short term um, for now. Um, but I would rather stay in professional sports um, or, like, local youth organizations. I think that would be a pretty interesting path to go down as well. Um, some opportunities or stuff facing the international sports industry. I think the pandemic and COVID-19 is a really interesting um, piece that we've seen in the past year and it kind of outlines how the world will face another pandemic if we're if one were to pop up in the future and so it's interesting how different leagues across the, the world have handled it in the u.s um, they're more laid back at first with um, limiting travel and fans whereas you saw in europe with the um, premier league in england they completely shut down fan attendance and limited travel significantly. And so I think that's interesting in how international sports deals with something like that and how nations can work together to find solutions. For example, the, the next, um, um, I guess, what's the word I'm looking for? So the way that countries will work together to fight COVID with relation to sports will be the Olympics this summer. So I think that'll be um, pretty cool to see and just see how they handle it. So uh, that's a little bit about me. Looking forward to having class with you all again.